All right, it's not just the season for scary Halloween decorations. Have you noticed the scary candy prices? Mm, Bill Rebecca Clough goes in depth tonight on why we are paying higher prices to participate in trick or treat. You want a gummy? If you're passing out treats this year for Halloween, you've probably already noticed the cost of candy is up. That's ridiculous. It went up like three dollars for just those Costco bags. Everything is so expensive right now, though, unfortunately. We went to I think Target or somewhere else just to start looking for candy. And it was outrageous. Kramer, Olivia, and Joe all live on Clement Avenue, a street they consider one of the busiest in the city on Halloween. It's just down the block from the A&J Halloween House that draws hundreds of visitors. So they have to be prepared for a lot of trick-or-treaters. I counted last year we had about 700 kids. Candy for all those kids really adds up, especially this year. According to the Bureau of Labor, candy prices are up more than 13% since last year. University of California, Los Angeles supply chain expert, Professor Christopher Tang, says candy is so expensive because of the cost of ingredients and because it's mainly made in the U.S. I think that the labor cost has gone up a lot because of inflation. The workers need to have a high income so that they can survive. All the ingredients from wrapping paper to the basic ingredients like sugar and also the cocoa beans that we have the imported from Africa. So as a result, every single ingredients, elements and the, and the wages are going up. He says the good news for Wisconsin, the costs aren't as high as other parts of the country because most of the candy is produced or distributed in the Midwest. Therefore, the last mile to deliveries from the warehouses to the uh, to the retailers. According to the National Retail Federation, the average household spends about $30 on candy and will likely have to spend $35 this year. However, from our unofficial survey of the neighbors on Clement Avenue in Bayview, they spend on average $200 a house. And while some are trying not to spend more. If I could give advice, it would be to get not chocolate candy because for some reason the uh, like the gummy candies and the hard candies are a little cheaper. Kramer says he couldn't follow his own advice. Is that what you did? I got the chocolate Stare. candies, you know, <laughs> but it's because I wanted to eat some. Halloween here is just so, it's just how can you not be involved? If you're looking for ways to save, Tang says buy in bulk. Those smaller packages of candy are up 75 to 80 cents more per ounce this year compared to last year. Those bigger bags of candy that are about three to five pounds, those are only up 35 cents per ounce this year. Reporting in Milwaukee, Rebecca Clough, TMJ4 News. Ah, TMJ4 is helping you get ready for Halloween. Our web team has compiled a list of trick-or-treating times and communities across our area. You can find that on our website, tmj4.com, or simply scan the QR code on your screen and it won't cost you a dime.